Hey guys, so today's video is, you know, experimental and, um, you know, this is Ray in the Tells of Shadows. So, you know, this is completely my own kind of, like, floor and stuff that I made up. And, you know, hopefully kind of a storyline that I kind of want to see. Um, I'm going to warn you. This, I'm probably going to be fairly, not monotone, but, like, without the voices of characters. Just because I'm not, like, you know, a voice actress. Um, otherwise than that, I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope if you like the Tales of Shadow that you tell me so I can continue to do this. Because I'm probably going to keep writing this anyway. But otherwise than that, let's get into this. It had only been a month since it happened. It, as in the death of Ben and Leia Solo. The New Republic was being built up by Poe, Finn, and Rose. And I had been going on missions to find old holocrons and Jedi texts for my new order. One problem I had was where to move next. I had been under the guidance of Force Ghost, but I still needed clarity. I decided to meditate on this and see what I needed, but not what I wanted. Be with me, be with me, I whispered into the air. Ray, a croaking voice said, It wasn't a Jedi. Or a Sith, but connected to the Force, I could sense it. Who are you? I yelled. You will find out in good time. A Force user, but not dark or light, I said. Correct, it said back. I am a, a original, the Force said. I thought. I taught both sides of the force as one you see. It explained. You are to do the same. The voice started to fade away. Wait, I yelled. Wait, please don't leave me. At first, I was left in a dark place of trauma of my parents leaving me on Jakku. The loneliness, the sorrow, though stayed at bay, remembering it being the sacrifice they made. Then, I was left to wonder, who and what was that? I heard experience in the voice, but again, who or what voice? I decided to make dinner and sleep on it. I just knew to ponder on it next day. I woke up the next morning, greeted by a friendly and familiar face. It was Ben. Hi, he said. I could sense you were pondering on something. Do you need some help? Then I told him all about the voice and what it said. The voice of someone or something experienced. The voice, the force, had brought to me. And he was just as shocked and in half belief as I was, too. He said, You should speak to the two combined old Jedi councils about it. Yoda or Qui Gon would be best. Luke could help, too, as well. After I made breakfast, of course. I looked at some Jedi text, but as I already kind of felt I knew, there was nothing in there that helped me. So, on that note, I decided to just take a break and make lunch. When I did this, the when I did this after that, I decided to connect with Rose and Finn, the new happy couple. Yeah. They were together. They told me about Poe 
and how he was too busy writing new trade policies and routes down and that he was sorry that he couldn't make it. After that, we talked mostly about what all the stuff had been going on in courts on the new center of the Republic. I told them tons of stories of many things I've learned and all the creatures I've encountered on many of my trips. With that, we said our goodbyes and may the force be with you and till next time we can make contact. And then, after we said all that, then I went to face the two councils combined as one. Today, it was easier to make connection. Other days were usually harder. But since I was living in the peaceful, loving place of indoor, where life force was filled and flooding within me, especially since I was living amongst the Ewoks, it was um, quite easy because it was a highly force-sensitive place. I began to meditate. Be with me. Be with me. I was in the headspace for as far more secure meetings as if any Sith were to hear or see these things. There's no telling what they could do to their souls. Now, all the members of the highest of the councils that the Jedi had ever achieved had arrived. I soon went on to explain what I heard, the voice, its presence, and all it had said, word for word, in memory, I could not erase. When I was done, they started talking amongst themselves. Many said it could be a trick of the dark side and hiding, as many times the Sith have been able to pull things off like this and are usually never gone. Others, like Master Yoda and Luke, believed it was truly a genuine voice as a whole. They should study the holocron's sacred text, even commune with the forest priestesses and the ones on this matter, because this was something beyond something that they'd ever known. But they had to be careful and discreet about all this. Many agreed on what they had said. This had to be done. This should be done. And shortly after we came to agreement, we were all dismissed from this meeting. I came back to this loving, peaceful place, which is indoor, of course. And after I did this, I had to find a new location to be. They also said this was one of the things I needed to do. I knew that I couldn't go someplace obvious, but I had to go a place that was loving still. Most Jedi said that they would not want me to go and mask my energy on one of the darker planets, saying for it was hard and for a young Jedi, still a Jedi Knight turning into Master, it would be hard and something that many Jedi would never wish you to face. So, I decided the next place I journey is to Coruscant, home to many Jedi before me, and I could help out my friends. I could not only learn, but help and feel at peace while doing so. I longed for my friends, and they longed for me. I could also have a little force back up from thin if I needed it. I said my goodbyes to the Ewoks and, well, many of my close new friends, which had been Ewoks, and hopped in the Falcon, returning to my truest of friends. I hope you enjoyed, and that is where I leave you. 
um this if you like this hold the <laughs> like the video and um also tell me if you want to keep hearing this story because i've you know crafted it up and i'm probably not going to stop writing it but if you do want to hear it tell me otherwise not i hope you enjoyed and bye see you next time